chasing a road to glory driven since i was a child if you want to think bad enough to go out and fight for it work day and night for it happy thursday everybody it's trash day good reminder if there's anything going on in your life habits decisions that's trashy time to take it out about 6 30 let's roll need to fix that hair all right everybody made it through traffic here at shipley's done it's going to stop into of, uh, like five businesses in the same office building, see if we can uh, kind of bring a little little food, a little info, see if we can build a relationship with them. So that I'd bring some donuts, probably bring some for the team as well. So there's five businesses that I'm gonna visit today um, with one of uh, one of the agents in my office. So we'll get five, you know, five dozen. So thought I'd show you tying the tie. Bringing. It still works out. That's all that matters. Pinch it. The dimple. Thank you. There we go. All right, everybody. It's about 7:40. Stop there at Shipley's. Um, there's a big old bag, five dozen. Got some kolaches for the team, uh, and some donut holes, and uh, carry my suit jacket, a vest. So I just wanted to show you this because I think sometimes people think that if you don't show it, then it doesn't really happen. But remember, I got the trash just like you. I showed that in my, my vlog. It was in the IG stories yesterday. So hope you're doing well. All right, did my podcast on advice for the recent college grad and high school grad. So I thought I'd re reiterate some of those things if, you don't, if you're not into my podcast, you're more a visual learner, so you like the vlog, um, is number one, is welcome to the real world. <laughs> is that you're gonna start working here in the summertime, and unfortunately, in the, come the fall, there's no part-time, there's no pulling things back. It's all just work, not only here, but also going forward. So number one, be patient. It's gonna take time to get to where you wanna go. It's gonna take time to get the promotion that you want, to grow, grow the income to, that you want, to save to, to, the, to accumulate the money that you want get to know other people, get to see how you can be a value to others, get to know other people in the, your different, different departments, the different divisions. So remember, it's not so much what you know, it's who you know, and more importantly, it's who knows you and what you can do, what you can bring to the table, and that becomes extremely powerful, especially in an organization. And then number two is to st don't think like an employee. So think about what you want to accomplish, think about who you are, where you want to go and then identify in that job description from a career standpoint is how do you get beyond that so if you want the job of your boss help your boss get promoted right because you need to open up the space so uh, help her get to where she wants to go also when it comes to her job description look at her job description what do you not know what do you need experience in um, truly one of the big things that um, people when they come out of high school and college that they don't have is experience when it comes to working, uh, when it comes to negotiating, when it comes to delivering on deadlines, stay within a certain profitability, staying on a specific timeline. That doesn't happen, right? You haven't been taught that. You haven't been uh, haven't have, had to accomplish that. <laughs> There are really no shortcuts, right? So in school, you, you might have been able to cram, you might have been able to stay um, all through the night, typed out a paper, and then pushed it out and gotten a grade. That doesn't work here in the real world. So for example, if, it, if it's from a sales perspective, if you have to make a certain number of sales, there really is no shortcut. You gotta see a ton of people, you gotta ask a ton of people to meet with you, and that's just how the deal is. Next is, so patience, and I, and I want it now. So it's okay, just relax, allow things to, to take its time. At the same time, the way that you can propel it is be able to start um, connecting with people that are like-minded. Start building out your network of people that also want to get more and want to move and shake and get to where they want to go. And it's that kind of camaraderie, it's that kind of mindset that's going to help elevate you to that next level. First in, last out. Here it's 7.40. Uh, um, I was the first one here into the office. Not all the time I'm the last one out, but sometimes I am. Sometimes uh, Keen is uh, one of the last ones out. And it's not about time in the seat at the cubicle in your office. It's about what you're actually doing. So the more productive you are, the better. Um, connect with people to be able to help propel your career. Hopefully that's helpful. Sherm's out.
All right, everybody, hope you're doing great. Uh, good training, went a lot longer than I anticipated because uh, I'm off tomorrow. I had to get a lot of stuff done now versus later because um, I won't be there tomorrow. So it's about 6.30, uh, put some rain necks on Brenda's car because it's starting to thunder. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. It's starting to rain and this rain has just worked so well at keeping us safe. So um, after having lunch with my wife over at uh, Fun Crab, great place by the way, uh, real good portions, um, delicious taste. Um, came back here to the office, had an interview, went really well. Looks like she'll be coming on board here in September. So gotta keep her on pace. And then uh, talking with Megan about having more structure when it comes to our onboarding process. That's important to make sure that we're on, this, on the right page and not letting people get, get through or um, not being properly prepared for, for uh, going up to Austin for our centralized training that we do up there. So, and then was working just one-on-one -on -one with Brenda to finish off stuff so that way there's not tons of stuff that she has to do with Megan tomorrow. So we'll take the ride home through all this nice fun rain and hopefully here with the safety of the rain X we'll be good to go. Okay, we're just gonna do it selfie style. It's me. Okay, I'm Sherman and I'm building the number one insurance-based financial advisor team here in Houston. Um, so if you know people that are entrepreneurial, they're driven, they're competitive, they're looking for something different, like me, and that's what we're looking for. Thanks for having me. So hi, my name is Cheryl, I'm Miss Salada. I do salad wraps and soup, and we can cater your activities, your events, your staff meeting, so. Hey there, everybody. Happy Thursday night, I hope you're all doing well. I wanna just put this post out there that a lot of what you wanna accomplish in life will come down to your inner belief. What you're thinking about yourself, the confidence in yourself, will give you the reassurance that you should move to something that's extremely impactful that might scare you a little bit. And I'd say your best goals in life are scary, are a little bit daunting, are gonna push and pull the best out of you. If you haven't felt uncomfortable in a while, you might want to make some decisions to do something to make yourself feel uncomfortable, to make yourself get out of that comfort zone. Because true growth only occurs outside of our comfort zone. The abilities that we have to truly progress and succeed in life will be outside of our comfort zone. So get comfortable being uncomfortable. Sherm's out. All right, made it home, everybody. Hope you're doing great. Grateful to have made it home. It was getting pretty, uh, just rainy out there. Uh, driving with the yield lights on um, when it was getting pretty hard, pretty hard to see visibly. Rain X worked like, um, like magic. So that was nice. Um, so grateful. Hope you're doing well. Peace. Coming down pretty good here. Thursday night. So May 9th, 2019. You can see the rain already. Trying to get down that drain. Lightning, thunderstorms is hailing on the way down. Stay safe, everybody out there. Stay safe.